welcome to my video. Today we are going to make, I'm going to show you how we are going to make these fundal hedgehogs. And they are very, I wouldn't say easy to make, but if you get the hang of the loop stitches, which are not hard, they are easy to make. <laughs> um, but uh, you are going to need some yarn and I used some uh, a bulk, super bulky yarn for these uh, guys here. I also have one in grey and it's a slightly thinner yarn. I made the loops a little longer and you're gonna need like 70, 80, 90 grams of yarn and depending how, how big your loops are. Um, you're gonna need some filling materials of course and I have a 6 millimeter or size 10 crochet hook and some scissors and of course a tapestry needle and also I'm gonna show you how you can make your own eyes in this video they look like this it's made with black yarn and so I hope you can see but it's also just single crochets in a ring and uh, you can sew on a little like white um, part of the eye and uh, for that I used some cotton yarn and a slightly thinner yarn. This is worsted weight. Um, I used it for the nose too. Just make a little triangle and I filled in with the blanks with the yarn and um, you can also make like eyebrows here or eyelashes but if you do make eyelashes please um, put on the eye, make the eyelashes and then you put on the, the safe part before you do that because it will get nicer then but uh, they are pretty quick to make I think I needed like half an hour for one of these but it depends on uh, this this is called Mille 2 and this is um, this is also a super bulky yarn and uh, they're gonna look a little different because it's a different color but it will also maybe be easier to see on the camera than the original ones and also I have a slightly thinner yarn in black um, that I'm using for the nose, so you're gonna need like a yeah, like a meter or so with black. So we're gonna start off with a magic ring. And then we're gonna do six single crochets in the ring. So one, two, Three, four, five, and six. Then we're gonna pull tight and put a stitch marker here. I'm just using some black yarn. And then we're gonna do one single crochet in each stitch. So one. Two, three, four, five, and six. If you want to, you can sew in the loose ends now. I like to do that because they confuse me if I have too much like this ends here and there. Gonna run it through a couple of stitches. So this will be the nose. Now increase in every stitch so you have end up with 12 single crochets. Sorry, I skipped. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. 
Now we're gonna do one single crochet and one in increase. So one single crochet in the next stitch and then increase in the next. One single crochet in the next and then increase. One single crochet and 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 an increase. Now we, and now we're just gonna do one single crochet in each stitch for the entire round. So one single crochet in each stitch. And now we're gonna do an increase round again. So two single crochets in the next stitch. Ne, sorry. Now we're gonna do an increase round again. So one single crochet in the next two stitches. And then we're gonna do an increase in the third. So you'll end up with 24 stitches after this round. So one, Two and then uh, one, two, and then three, four, And now we're gonna do an increase round again. So this time it's three single crochets and then increase. So one, two, and then three, and then increase in the fourth stitch. You're gonna end up with 30 single crochets after this round. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. You can repeat this all the way around. One, two and three. If you end up with an increase on the last stitch, if you like start with one single crochet in the next three stitches at the beginning, you are always going to end up with an increase at the end of the round. So if your increases are here, then you know you have to, you've done a mistake, so you have to unravel. And then we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch for three rounds. So one single crochet in each stitch for the next three rounds. Also, 
At the end, I'm going to tell you how you can make your hedgehog smaller or bigger. You can just keep increasing until you have the stitches that you want and then also did you know that hedgehog in Norwegian is pinsvin? Also P P I N N S Y E N Pinsvin. And in German they say eagle, so it's a little different than in English. So I'm gonna do two more rounds of camera and then I'm gonna show you how we are doing the loop stitches. And after a couple of rounds with the loop stitches, I'm gonna show you how I'm doing the face. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm also gonna show you how you can crochet your own eyes if you don't have this um, big amigurumi eyes or safety eyes. So I just make two more rounds. One, find some um, black yarn. This is a worsted weight yarn, or if you're in Europe, this is. Uh, you say like they recommend like four five a millimeter crochet hook so I'm just gonna if you need more this is more than enough so I want to put the yarn here in like in the middle here Then do on the side here a little, so like so. And there again. Then I like to do a cross. I'm just gonna fill in the blanks here now. Just make sure that you don't um, like put the yarn between the gray yarn here. I'm just gonna place it here on row seven, and then like one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, but seven. Uh, single crochets um, a space apart. So now I'm happy with the face and we're just gonna flip the work and then grab some yarn. And then you're just gonna find um, a stitch here. Doesn't matter which one I like to start um, here. A couple of stitches for from the previous round. And I'm just gonna hold my I'm just going to make a slip knot, insert the hook in the stitch and then hold my index finger high like so and then I'm going to put the hook between the two strands here and then pull both strands through the, the loop or the stitch like so and then you have three loops. Now you can let go of the loop and then yarn over and pull through all loops. We're going to do that again. So insert the hook in the next stitch and then slide it behind the, the stitches or the yarn and then pull through. Let go and yarn over and pull through. Here is the next stitch. And here when I get to the this part I'm just going to continue. I don't know why my strand is so short there. But it doesn't matter because you have so many loops you don't see the you know if one is sticking out um, and also you can adjust the size of these loops I like to keep mine a little short but you can also make them longer 
So just do like so and then here you can just do like this and then it gets, big, gets bigger and then pull here and gets smaller. Okay? So continue doing this all the way around. I try to keep to I try to keep my loose uh, my loops about the same size. So I just I just do like so and I don't adjust them afterwards, but you can do however you like. We're going to do 10 rounds with the loop stitches before we start with the decreases. So I'm at the end of the round here and uh, this is the last um, stitch. So I'm just going to do my loop stitch here and then wait. And then I have to place a stitch marker. And here here is your next Sorry, here is your next stitch. So insert the hook there and then do your loops. And this is round two. And also we are working one loop stitch in the next 30 for the, for the complete round. For 10 rounds. So I'm just going to do this off camera, just continue working your uh, loop stitches and then I'm going to show you how to finish this uh, hedgehog with the decreases Loops, and you have to also do some loop stitch decreases, it's also not hard. So I see you uh, when I'm finished with my 10 rows, uh, rounds. I made my 10 rounds and I'm um, we're gonna do the de some decreases and then we're gonna add some stuffing and then this little guy is finished. Also what I wanted to tell you is when you get to the color change, um, sorry when you have to change yarn, um, just like do the first step and here yarn over with the new yarn because it's easier to, to do it like that. But now we're going to do some decreases. So first we're going to do three loop stitches. So one, oops, one, two, and three. And then we're going to do one de loop stitch decrease. It works uh, like this. So insert the hook in the next stitch, yarn over and complete the first step of the loop stitch. And then leave this um, on the hook and then insert the, the, the hook in the next stitch, yarn over and pull up the loops. Now you have five loops, yarn over and pull through all five loops. You can also see the, here the decrease that um, the stitch is much thicker than a normal one. So one loop stitch in the next three stitches. One. Two and then three and now one decrease yarn over and pull up loops repeat the process leave everything on the hook yarn over and pull through all five loops so this is what I want you to repeat all the way around three loop stitches and one loop stitch de decrease and then I meet you when I'm finished with this round so now I'm gonna add some stuffing here to my hedgehog and just grab whatever you have and 
start to stuff you don't have to stuff so much at the where the last uh, rounds are just but i just like to get something in here now before i do more decreases So that at least the face will be stuffed out. So I'm gonna leave leave it like this and then we'll we're gonna continue here. So now do two loop stitches and one loop stitch decrease. So one and two. And then here is your decrease. Now repeat all the way around two loop stitches. And then one loop stitch decrease. I want you to repeat this all the way around and then I'll meet you back when we are finished with the round. So now I'm gonna add some more stuffing. If you want to put um, if you want to take the hook out just leave a long loop like so and then it's easier to find your stitch be careful so the yarn doesn't disappear in the hole here okay I'm, I think I'm happy now A little bit more. Sometimes it can be hard to know how much stuffing to add. It's not uh, okay. So now we're gonna continue, and now. As you probably guessed, is one we're gonna do one loop stitch and one loop stitch decrease for the entire round. So one and then a decrease. Next round you're just gonna do one increase. Uh, decrease in each stitch And now when you get to the last round just decrease all the way around and then we're gonna sew the hole closed. Let me show. You need a, like a, I don't know how many inches, 20 centimeters. We don't use inch, inches here in Europe. Oh. Okay, slip stitch in the next stitch and then finish off. And then you're gonna grab your tapestry needle. Oh, and if you're wondering <laughs> why I'm wearing this band is because my, uh, my, um, my hand hurts from crocheting and this helps me. So if you have pain too, then this is a trick. Okay, but here, 
So just insert the hook in the front loop only, or the, the needle I mean, and then pull. And then do this in each stitch. Like so, all the way around. And then we pull and then we get a nice finish. But you can see you have little gaps here and this is normal with the loop stitches. I did some loop stitch project previous and there was always a little gaps. But um, what I like to do is to just close them here. Like so, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just get the needle under there and pull tight. Because this is always happening with decreases at the loop stitches. Once I did a sheep and uh, also had the same problem, but I tried to fix it up with you know, saw. Yeah, now it's okay, and then we can just gonna make a little tail that's very very easy if you want to you can also cut the loops here but um, I recommend I like it like it better like that but I recommend you do it like on a sample before you do it so you don't like cut here and uh, then you you're not happy with the result and your hedgehog is um, like ruined <laughs> but uh, yeah Okay, so let's make the tail. The tail. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do a slip knot and then just um, six uh, chains. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then in the second chain from the hook, just do one half double crochet, yarn over, and then I like to insert the hook in the little like bump there. Oh. I'm not actually sure how the tail for the hedgehogs are, but uh, or is, but uh, I think it's like that. And then you're just gonna fasten the tail here, and you can also cover up this little space that we have going on here. Actually, I haven't made the tail for those. For, for that one yet, so I, I think, oh no, from that one either, so they also gonna get a tail. So I just find the, uh, hmm, maybe orientate there, here is the center. Okay, mm. This stuff like this is hard to do on the camera. I'm gonna do the best I can here. Okay. But you have a lot of loops, so that's gonna hide like a little bit. It's not perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's like handmade and There's the tail. Okay, and I also told, I promised you at the beginning of the video how to do the hedgehog uh, bigger or smaller. So here is my <laughs> my notes. Um, so you're starting like normal, you increase until you're happy with the size. So it's like a multiple of six. So you have 24, 30, then you have 36, then you have 32 and, and so on. So you're just gonna in, increase until that point where you're happy with the size. Let's say you want 24, you increase, you just follow the pattern here till 24 and then you do skip round six and then you do three single crochets for, and um, so you go, do 24 single crochets for three rounds instead of 30 and then just continue with the loop stitches 24 loop stitches instead of 30 and then when you are done 
you know, you need the de decreases, but you don't start with three single crochets and a decrease, you start with two single crochets and a de decrease and so on. That same way you can make it bigger, just like simple math, um, increase until you have 36 stitches and do three rounds of 36 stitches, do your 10 rounds of 36 stitches and, and instead of 30. And then when you decrease, you, you have to go four single crochets and one decrease. And then three single crochets and one decrease. Okay, I hope you like that, this pattern. If you want the written version, you can purchase it uh, in my shops on Etsy and Ravelry. And uh, yeah, I uh, hope that you are happy with your hedgehog. And also, I would love to see uh, the finished work. Just and tag me on Instagram or Facebook. I'm gonna leave links below. Just white yarn, and I have a four, four millimeter crochet hook or size seven, and uh, some white yarn. And then we're gonna do five double um, a magic ring with five single crochets. So one, two, three, four, and then. Five, and then pull tight now put your stitch marker here and then I hope you can see this but it's just an increase in every stitch so one two and then you end up with ten stitches three four five six Seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then don't do a slip stitch, cut the yarn, leave a long strand, and just pull it through like this because we want a nicer edge here. Needle is gone. Okay, I hope you can see this, but I'm just, see here the first stitch, just go through the, the back loop only, and then pull here, and then go through it again, and then just through a stitch there. And then pull here, so this is our eye. And now you're going to make like the white in the eye, you can, this is actually a little tricky because you want the white thing to be on the, so just going to do like a little V here maybe. Oh, it's a cat here. Maybe bigger. So, so this is one example, you can uh, do the eyes.